All right, and then we move on from the the Black Lives Matter to the ongoing saga that is <sighs> Kim K and Ray J sex tape. It's man, year twenty twenty two, and this came out in two thousand seven, and we still talking about this. We're still talking <laughs> still about talking this. about this sex tape. Let's, Fifteen let's years dive later. right into it. Let's dive right into it, Sticks. What, what's your what's your thoughts on this, man? So. We are forced on a day-to-day basis to take in and talk about the fakest family on the history of the planet. <laughs> they are the fakest okay. family on the history of the planet, bro. Along, along from you know um, Kylie and the ones that's actually doing what they're doing something with themselves, like she got the the billion dollar cosmetic company she doing something mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying what, but uh, okay yeah well, go ahead go ahead go ahead go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. energy energy no, energy energy no, yeah i so i i don't want to take away from chloe courtney and even kim her the things that she's doing now I don't want to do that. Take one away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because I'm not <laughs> yeah, I'm not defending them. I'm okay, not defending okay, them you. at, at all. You. I got you. But when you when you say Kylie and um Kendall uh, are mm-hmm. actually doing something, the others are too. It's just the fact that all of this all of this fame and status and them having the ability to utilize or capitalize on all of that, what they have it comes from this sex tape. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to take that away from them. They very well may be the fakest family, um, as you said, in the history, history of, the planet. of the planet. Of the planet. But yeah. <laughs> they are, they just capitalized on the, what we're talking about now. They capitalize on it, <laughs> and I mean, and to a degree, so so did Kylie and so did Kendall. Kylie and Kendall. I agree because yeah, they agree. were they were a part of that show. So I, I just wanted to stop you there because yes, it, they do a lot, and it stems from the fame that they got from the Kim K Ray J sex tape and keeping up with the Kardashians mm-hmm. being on ETV mm-hmm. for twenty years plus and so on. But they're they're Good not all fake they're they're actually doing something it's just how they got there is yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. so so basically how this all came about if if anybody out there doesn't know is that um a few weeks ago uh there was an episode of keeping up with the kardashians where her kim's son was playing roblox that wasn't a few weeks ago how long ago was that that was that was like some months ago. It seems oh, like April. It was April. It was April. It was yeah, April. Yeah, it was yeah, April. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. April. Okay, so back in April, there was a there was an episode that aired of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where Kim K's son was playing robots on his iPad, mm-hmm. and there was a picture of the, the the Kim K crying face picture was on a game that was mm-hmm. on Roblox, and it was a link to a leaked sex tape, another sex tape with her and Ray J. Mm-hmm. But she got all up in arms and tried to play victim with this whole thing because now her kids are old enough to know exactly what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And they're kind of using it for ratings on the show. And that's mm-hmm. where Ray J got pissed off. Mm-hmm. That's where Ray J got pissed off. Because according to Ray J, won't no leak. <laughs> according to Ray J, it was, it was, it was all planned the hell out, according to Ray J. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they had contracts and some more shit about how they was going <laughs> capitalize off of him beating the brakes off of Kim K. Well, not beating. So, the, okay, well, yeah, you can't say beating the brakes off, but we know what you're well, trying to say. Have you, you have, have you seen it? Have you seen it? No. I, so yes, I've seen it. But when you say beating the brakes off, it sounds like some physical, like not the sexual. Well, no. We yeah. know what I'm talking about. We talk yeah, about yeah, sex yeah, tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know yeah, what but I'm just the saying. Break. Okay, because when you say beat the brakes, Clap, it's clapping like, the cheeks. There you go. Thank you. Because when you say <laughs> beating the brakes, people, I'm sure people might I think use this. Yeah, people think domestic violence. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah, people, yeah, people think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel you. So people, they wanted to to monetize Ray J clapping her cheeks. 
Mm -hmm. So it was a whole contract out there where apparently this is a court. This is out of Ray J's mouth. They both got 400 K each for Mm -hmm. this sex tape. Did you hear that part? Yeah, I did. And you bring up the new show that they have, which is essentially the same show that they have. It's just on a, it's essentially the same show. Yeah, Yeah. Facts. Right. And in the first show of the old Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I think the show now is called Kardashians. In the first show... The Kardashians, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, in the first show of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that was on E, mm-hmm. she brings up the sex tape. Mm-hmm. We fast forward to now uh, on the Kardashians, which streams on Hulu, she brings up mm-hmm. the sex tape. The sex tape. So for me... I don't know what to believe. I don't know. I don't know whether to believe. Okay, no, put it this way. I believe Ray J just because he has, he has shown me the evidence, but Mm -hmm. for all we know, that could be fake too. Uh, He just has some papers drawn up to, you know, keep his side. I got some. Bring him in the clear. I got some about that, but go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But then I also don't know if if this is are these just marketing ploy marketing ploys by the respective companies that own the rights to these TV shows to get more eyes on their television on, on the the shows that the Kardashians are with, mm-hmm. and then we'll get deeper into it later. I don't know if this is just the mastermind uh, orchestration by Chris Kim's mom to Mm -hmm. have everybody eat off of Kim, so to speak. So that makes sense because like, I, I, I I feel like I believe Ray J not to cut you off, but I feel like I believe Ray J just because he's showing evidence of Mm -hmm. what we, what most speculated, but didn't really know for sure. Just villainized Ray J. But, um, Mm -hmm. so I want to believe Ray J, but, it's just so much um, ingredients that into this nonsense that makes it a uh, ineditable uh, meal to eat. I just can't. I can't fathom like what. It's just a lot of nonsense, man. <laughs> it is a lot of nonsense, man. And it's like, and I, and you might, you might be right about that because Ray J keeps going on and on about how Chris Jenner was actually had this idea. And kind of mastermind this whole thing so it's not far-fetched that she might have told ray j like hey we gonna mention it if you want to get relevant again right. talk shit Tell you, you know, so it's not it's, it's not it's not past the realm of, of possibility for sure yeah it's because not. again we're talking about the weird place that is hollywood man and, holly weird bro and it is for me i i try not to even though I fall for it sometimes, I try not to just go with every story. I try to dig into it a little bit. And the more you read about this, the more it kind of is like, I believe this person, but then this little piece of evidence like goes against what they said. Because, and the reason I Mm -hmm. say that is because the actual person that got the contracts signed uh, or got the contract together and leaked or distributed the tape was vivid entertainment vivid yeah and mm-hmm. the vivid owner yep. the founder and the owner said that this was one of the most difficult contracts to get done which to me says that Kim and Chris wanted nothing to do with it uh, but if you look at if you well cuz if if you tell if you tell me that this if you tell me that i have two parties one is orchestrating a deal or brokering, trying to broker the deal, the other is okay with it. He he or she doesn't care what happens as long as they get some money. But uh, and it gets leaked, quote unquote. But then some years down the line, the person that actually got to profit off of this this uh, sex tape more than anybody says, well, this was tough because this party didn't really want it to be released that causes some confusion for me so i, I, well, I okay it's crazy yeah. well, i don't mean to cut, i don't mean to cut you off but it's crazy because if that's the case 
So just just going through a little bit more of the story, right? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so she from what Ray J is saying is that Chris Jenner put this whole plan together to bolster Kim's career by leaking the sex tape, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of what kind of a la what Paris Hilton did back in the day, which made her millions of dollars. Yeah. Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson had theirs leak, which made them a lot of money, got them a, a reality TV show at one point. It didn't last long, but it was on TV for a little while. Mm-hmm. But if, and just to go back to your point, I think that if if it's true what, Kit, what Ray J is saying about Kris Jenner masterminding this whole thing, there's no way that Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian were not comfortable with this. I think Ray J was the one not comfortable with it because of how he's acting right now. Because he's like, "Well, now I have," because because she he even mentioned at one point that she signed his his part of the contract, right? But, she signed his deliverables, whatever the hell right. that means. I don't know. Well, so it's like, no. Ahead. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is, if the person. If okay, I'm just gonna stop talking in circles. If the person, uh, if if Steve, whatever his name is, Steve, Steve his name was Steve, but he was, I don't know what his last name was, but his name was Steve for sure. Yeah, the 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 founder of Vivid Films. If he's saying that mm-hmm. it was tough and Kim didn't want it to be released, and this made it that made it like one of the hardest deals to get complete. Ray J bringing up these contracts is valid and mm-hmm. makes me. Uh, want to believe him. I'm not saying I don't believe him, but it makes me want to mm-hmm. believe him. But that little small piece of evidence that was said by the owner of Vivid Vivid Entertainment now brings more into question for me because like, what? Come on. Uh, so was <laughs> yeah. it, was, yeah. did she broker this or did she not? Did she want this to happen or did she not? You know, so that's where I'm, I'm torn. Question I have for you though, is assuming mm-hmm. Ray J is telling the truth and these allegations are true, does that mm-hmm. change our perception and how we feel about Ray J now? Because you remember when this all came out, he was villainized. Oh, he wanted mm-hmm. to, you know, he he wanted to release this tape and do this and do that. And Kim didn't want it to happen. He did it against her will, all that and all, all this. And now it's like the shoe's on the other foot. So... Mm-hmm. How do we feel about Ray J now? Because I mean, um, you also got to look at it, you also got to look at it this way before you get into it. He said, and sex tapes normally, typically, don't work out for the male. How it works as out much for, for the female, female right? One hundred percent. So because most times, whenever see- you're looking at a when you're looking at a, 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 a if we're looking at prawn, I'm gonna call it yep. prawn. Yeah. If you're looking at prawn, you're looking at the prawn for the woman. Most time, in, most people. In, in that's, the, from the male's perspective, and yeah. For, um, for I mean, women too. I've, I've, I've spoken to women that look at the that, that look at a lot of prawn for the woman too. Like the woman okay. has to be sexy for the prawn to to be successful. Right, man, not Somebody so much. As long as he, as long as he kind of, you know, what I'm saying, got a little something mm. down there, it can yeah. do something with it. He ain't got to be cute. The woman though, got to be cute. Right, at least. You know what I'm saying? Okay. For for it to be for people to most likely like stop and watch. So, but yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. No. So, but you have to think about it. Do we change our mind about him because he sat and watched as his career, because he had a career before this. He mm-hmm. is the brother of Brandy, who's a, a mega singer. He was on mm-hmm. Moesha, which was his mm-hmm. sister's show. He had all mm-hmm. of this and he kind of his, he, and he was a singer himself, a rapper or whatever. Uh, he, he went back and forth, but, um, mm-hmm he had all of that going for himself and then he kind of tapered down a bit. It it, it it did a slight uptick, but then it, it went down more than it went up. Whereas Kim, mm-hmm. her, it just seemed like her stock just kept going up, 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 up. Kept rising. To where now, kept rising. Right. To, to where now his net worth is said to be somewhere around 14 million. Her net worth is said to be somewhere around 1.8 billion. Mm-hmm. How do we? So we ha, that has to. That's not a even. That's not a fair trade. And for somebody not like at him all. to sit back and not say anything about this being orchestrated by Chris this whole time, while he's seeing the person on the same tape with him, seeing their stock and their net worth go up, and his not really nowhere near hers. Nowhere that's close. Like, 
his ego had to be eating at him. Like I got to say something. Mm -hmm. So is he, do we look at him as a good person now because he kind of upheld this lie or do we feel sorry for him? Like, how do we feel about Ray J now? I mean, as far as Ray J goes, man, it's like, I don't think anything's going to change as far as his status. I don't think it's going to help him bring him more bread. It's way too late for that. It's 15 yeah. years at this point, right? Right. I, his his whole his whole gripe with this whole situation is that they keep bringing it up, mm-hmm. and she keeps playing victim for ratings because and that's any, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So she keeps playing victim and using it and making it seem like he's the bad guy in the situation, and she was the victim when this whole time y'all pl- mastermind this whole thing. So stop right. playing victim and making it seem like I'm the guy that leaked it and I'm the one that wanted this to happen and now and y- y'all are still, you know, profiting off of my demise basically. When when your mama is the one that put it all together. So, so nah, that's, so it, that's the question I'm yeah. asking you is knowing all of that information and assuming that it's true. Do you feel differently? Or does the public no. change their mind about no. Ray J? I don't think so. I think it's I think it's more so like uh, it's, it's, that's that's kind of it's not necessarily hard to say. I don't think the public changes their mind about Ray J. I think it helps people look into what's really good about the Kardashians. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because they literally, literally, nobody knew who the fuck she was until this fucking sex tape came out. Right. 15 years now, 15 years later, she's got brand deals. She's got a TV show. She's married, fucked, and had relationships with a bunch of different megastars to keep herself relevant from the Chris Humphreys of the world to the Reggie Bushes of the world. Now you got Kanye, Pete Davidson. Like, she a dot. She's the most, she's the most <laughs> famous dot in the right. history of bro the and the most the most famous and the most fake dot we've ever said and seen in our life and it's like okay. why why do we keep her why is she still why are they still relevant what do they what do they do to that makes us talk about them on a daily basis what so she- i don't know i don't know anybody who watches the show i don't right. i don't think you do i don't think your wife does i don't have any friends that watch it so I don't, we don't, I don't, I don't talk about them until they cause some kind of uproar in the mainstream media to make themselves relevant again. Well, it's obviously somebody is watching that show because a hundred percent, and and, and I'll say somebody, but I, I'm not going to say that. But somebody's that. watching that show because somebody is watching that show because we have a lot of surgeries being done to look like look like what they represent Mm -hmm. we have mannerisms and and talks or talk tracks or however you say it we have uh that resembles them you know where you elongate that last part of the sentence that you say like Mm -hmm. oh my god just like that right (laughs) yes right (laughs) so apparently somebody is watching that show um, true, you have true, true. Parent, it, it, it's yeah I just I mean, yeah, don't yeah I, I just I kind of feel bad for Ray J now because <laughs> as bad as that sounds <laughs> I kind of feel no, bad it's, for it, Ray it, J it, it's not bad though but go ahead it's not bad that you feel bad for him but go ahead though Yeah, I kind of feel bad for him because it's like he played his part to a T in this in this whole scenario and he doesn't have what that family has and he was villainized and he didn't say anything this whole time until they kept bringing it up but then now Mm -hmm. on the flip side as polarizing as kim k and the kardashians is because you like you mentioned you don't know anybody that actually watches the show but apparently somebody's watching their shows so you have a population of the world now because it's streamed with hulu it's being streamed across the the like in britain and england and stuff now it's being streamed so, everywhere yeah facts. yeah so so you have a population of individuals that love them and then you have a population a population of individuals 
that hate them. You have a population mm-hmm. of individuals that lust after them. And then you have a population of individuals that look at them like they are the plague. They're some of the problems that they, they, they're some of the, they're, they're the problem that is that is beauty standards that we have today. They are the problem. They're some of the right. pioneers of the reasons why beauty standards uh, are existing for sure. Right. But right. it's like so, you, so, so it's like, so let me, let me, let me ask you this. Okay. So just like you said, nobody, I don't know nobody who watches it. I don't watch it. Your family doesn't watch it. Nobody watches it. You don't hear about, okay, so let's, let's go back a little bit. You don't hear about mm-hmm. the Kardashians until, like I said, something happens in, in the, in the media that brings them relevance. Like, Whenever the whole Black China and Rob thing was going on, mm-hmm. whenever they, whenever Black China and Rob Kardashian was supposed to have their own show, and now Black China trying to sue the Kardashians for billions of dollars because the Kardashians wouldn't let them have their show. Mm-hmm. Now you got Pete Davidson in the mix, and she being a dot with him, and now she got relevance because Pete Davidson was the the uh, the host of SNL, and she wanted to know what his his man parts looked like. Mm-hmm. Then you got. Kanye going off about his kids. Mm-hmm. Then you got Kanye going to get the last files of the sex tape from Ray J. All right. Then you got so bro. It's you don't. He, I don't watch the show. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't care about nothing they got going on. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But you hear about them when they need some relevance. And some mm-hmm. some kind of drama is going on. That's when you hear about the Kardashians, and it's annoying. Like, why did we talk about them? Why? Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't, can, I don't you understand. Can, you can ask why are we talking about the them best now? marketing family ever? The best marketing family hey, ever. They marketed. There, they marketed that sex tape to a T, my nigga. There you go. And so that leads into Chris Jenner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she the the best marketer of all time? The best uh, the best person to take um, shit and turn it into sugar? Is she that that person? Uh, you know, so. she might be. I mean, she might be, bro. I mean, because she literally masterminded this whole thing. And I guess we I guess we can talk about our, our good friend Candace Owen. You keep saying our <laughs> she good said, friend. We don't even know this woman. I mean, listen, I, I listen. That's my good friend now because she didn't say some shit, boy. She got, she got, she came with all the smoke. She came with all the smoke, saying that Kim K is a prostitute and Chris is a pimp. Mm. Yeah, damn. Yeah. I was like, yo. I mean, but she, in this case, yeah. in this case, I don't think she's far off from her statement. Not at all. Because Not at all. They they apparently profited very well off of it. Um, very well kim kim k continues to in some aspects use her body as a tool for payment or to receive payments um chris who is her mother is the ultimate i mean she's the ultimate that uh extortioner (laughs) (laughs) that's a better word that's a better word for it for sure extortioner because she has not only got Kim to be who she is, but as we mentioned earlier, Chloe, I'm not Chloe, uh, Courtney isn't as high profile as the rest of them, but she has profited off of it. Courtney has Mm -hmm. profited off of it with Mm -hmm. not only her money, but her relationships. So has Courtney now that Mm -hmm. I think about it. Um, Yeah, true. And Kylie. um, Kylie, I'm not Kylie, Kendall may be the most original out of all of them, but she has her, her flaws as well. And Mm-hmm. Um, they they all have profited from Kim K and her sex tape, and then being on Keeping Up with the Kardashians for so long. Yep, and it's crazy. It's crazy because another another quote that uh, Candace Owens said was that Kim K is a body without a soul, which is emblematic to the society we live in today. That if you're willing to degrade yourself, the society will give you more. Mm-hmm. And, that's, and she said that's what that, that was that was the price of fame and that's what kim k did she sold her body for fame and chris let her do it <laughs> extorted and, her body for the money and how many individuals have or would would have done the same thing the, it, it, depending on the circumstances you win man there's probably a lot of people mothers and daughters that would probably do the same thing this it, it's 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 happened it's mothers and mothers. Ah, 
remember we were, we were talking about this the other day. We never brought it up as far as a topic. Remember the iCarly situation? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. You see what I'm saying? The mother was telling the little girl that you should do this, and this is the most, this is the closest to family you're gonna get. And they were extorting those kids and using and pretty much doing child prawn all over mm-hmm. Nick and Knight or right. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. All yeah. the feet yeah. pics and all the, you know what I'm saying? And the mother was was literally telling the daughter, like, just do it. You're you're getting famous, you're getting the notoriety, you're doing this, you're doing this. And she kept it going. So it's happened. It and it's probably more. It's probably more cases of it around the world, and just like you said um, in the last in the last episode when we were talking about uh, Tiffany Haddish, how many times have you heard "I got the perfect situation for you," right? And the mother would be like, "Oh yeah, that is amazing. You should do that, baby," and they go along with right. it. And as much yeah. as they probably see it's fucked up, they see that money rolling and they keep it rolling. Yeah. So that's exactly I, what Chris did with the with the with her daughters, bro. I, so when you bring that aspect into it, I guess you're right. I just don't feel like most decent mothers would orchestrate uh, a prawn deal for their daughter. Look oh, at not not, that, not in that situation, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're yeah, right, you're yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. is what I'm saying. But when you brought yeah. what the element into the whole scenario that you talked about earlier just now, mm-hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. But, but we'll see, man. I, I I think it's a whole. It's a sad situation. Um, it is, bro. It, it it worked out for the Kardashians, and now they're like a whole empire for their family. Multiple billionaires or c- close to billionaires in their family. Um, but the price that they paid to get it, mm. man. It's 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 it's. You know, you know that how that how that old adage goes: "Money is the root of all evil." But that's not true, man. The love of money, the love of money is, the root is yeah of all yeah. evil. The love of money, yep. man. People idolize. You should we should, we should not idolize Hollywood, bro, mm-hmm. because a lot of those people have done some of these same things or went through back situations to get uh, an Oscar. Or, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like just to have these opportunities to be on the main stage, man. And it's and it's you know. Holly weird, bro. Don't you just keep keep your all the parents out there, man. Don't you know keep your keep your kids close, bro. And yeah, kind of monitor who they see as role models and and who they idolize because a lot of these people in Hollywood are not role models. They're not role mm-hmm. models. Shit, I I don't even call myself a role model. I try to be a model citizen and be you know and and live and you know and and show do do you know experience, but. Just watch who you kids idolize, man, because a lot of these people out here ain't really role models, bro. They're not. Love these conversations that we have in, um, and that we have Likewise, had. Bro. Hope we continue to have dig into different topics and give our takes and that the people enjoy it. But uh, 